At the stage starts at the Giro d'Italia, the riders are of course the star attraction, but the bikes also gather a lot of attention, as you can probably tell by that enormous scrum of people surrounding Astana's team bikes. And it's with good reason. There are some amazing, beautiful bikes here. So let's go and have a quick snoop around and see what we can find. No prizes for guessing whose bike this is. Yeah, race leader Tom de Moulin. Now he's got some really nice flourishes. As the race leader currently he gets pink bar tape, Pioneer have supplied him with a pink cover to his power meter there, and Elite have supplied him with some nice pink uh, edges to his bottle cages. It's a really, really sweet bike, this one. Because it's such a wet day, they've got arse savers, team arse savers, which is a nice touch. Now, I personally have a vested interest that this giant TCR is going to carry Dumoulin to overall victory. I just hope that my prediction, and indeed this video, doesn't jinx him. Fingers crossed. Now, tucked away at the back here is this little beauty, and I mean little. This is Domenico Pozzavivo's Focus Izalco Max, and it is a really sweet looking bike. Full SRAM Red ETAP, he's got a quark power meter on there. Today it's got quite a steep climb towards the finish, and so he's running a 28 cassette, which is uh, going to give him a pretty nice easy gear to get up, I think it's 14% at its maximum. And one thing that is really cool on these focuses is the seat post here. I think it's the only one that I can remember that's like this. There's actually a hole that way through it. So presumably that's to give a bit of extra cushion. All the team bikes have got them, but uh, they'll be really thankful of that on the Strada Bianca that comes later on. I've just been drawn towards the BMC team guy here because of the orange sidewalls on their continental tires. So the last time we saw those was at Pairu Bay with the competition Pro Limited tubulars. Now, they're all 28s that they run at Paru Bay. So I thought, oh, maybe Strada Bianca, maybe they're going to run 28s. They're not. It's a 25, but it is a big 25. That's going to measure up at close to 26, maybe. So interesting that they've got them. They're only on the spare bikes, but they're there if need be. Maybe if the weather gets really bad and Strada Bianca turns to Strada Brown. It's brown in Italian. Strada Stra Mud? Strada Mud? Now, here at Tinkoff, we're surrounded by a sea of specialised tarmacs, but interestingly, there are three Venge Vices. So we've got Matteo Tosato's, we've got Jay McCarthy's, and we've got Manuele Boros in the middle there. Now, they're living on Team Car 2 today, which means that it's unlikely that the guys are ever going to end up riding them today. But there's only three of them in the whole team, and all the riders are going to be starting on tarmacs. Over at the Cannondale team, this is Joe Dombrowski's bike, and it is a really trick bike. So he's the only one on the team that seems to be using speed plate pedals. Now moving backwards, if you look closely, that rear derailleur cage is something very different to a normal Jura race. So that is one of the burner system rear derailleur cages, and it's designed to reduce drivetrain friction. So apparently, you could save about three watts uh, at about 250 watts. So the power, kind of power that Dombrowski's putting out, that is quite a lot of wattage to be saved. I think there's quite a lot of guys on the team running these as well, so clearly the mechanics don't mind swapping them over. Then the other thing I think was interesting, he's actually running a 38 tooth chainring there, so that's the smallest you can get on a uh, standard size crank set. So he's then running 53 38 rings and then a 28 at the back. So he's got a little bit smaller gear than just about everyone that we've seen so far at today's stage. Fabian Cancellara seems to have lost his custom paint job, but uh, interestingly, he's chosen to ride a Trek Madon, so today's not going to be his day. The climb is way, way too hard, despite the fact that it's Strada Bianca, and he is, at least in 2016, Mr. Strada Bianca. But interesting that he has chosen the aero bike. Over at the Willia Trestinia team, and this bike, despite not having been raced at the Giro, is gathering quite a lot of attention. This is Pipo Pizzato's bike, and being the kind of showman he is, this is his riding to sign on bike. And that is absolutely stunning. A really weird mix of an old school looking steel frame and brand new Dura Race, and then wheels with fluoro decals. But being Pipo Pizzato, I think he manages to pull it off. That is very cool. And you can tell that this is actually his riding to sign on bike and maybe riding to the calf in Monaco bike because he's got a compact chainset on. 
And I thought that Pipo Vizzato would never have a compact chain set on his bike, but clearly, maybe he's winding down, gearing up for retirement. We all embrace compacts in the end. Forgive the chaos, the race has literally just left and so the floodgates have opened. But if you want to see more content from here at the Giro d'Italia, then if you click just up there, you get through to our Giro d'Italia playlist. Or more specifically, for more tech, then why not click down there and you catch up with Kaylee Fretz and News and Tom Last as they investigate some of the time trial bikes that are here. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to GCN. To do that, just click on the globe. <laughs>